Hello and welcome everyone. It is 12 o'clock central, so we will get started. Thank you for tuning in to today's product demonstration, the Quince package of infant simulators. My name is Emily. I will be your moderator for today's presentation. Presenting today, we have Samantha Forehand and Ann Bogstad. Samantha is the Marketing Communications Manager here at RealityWorks and has been with the company for over 15 years, helping increase awareness of experiential learning opportunities in areas of CTE, family and consumer sciences, health and human services, and maternal and health or maternal and child health. Ann Bogsted is a senior account manager here at RealityWorks and has been with us for a little over 12 years. She consults with organizations, agencies, and schools to help make a difference in young people's lives. Both have hosted numerous presentations and webinars, giving educators ideas to bring lessons to life in their classrooms. So they are fantastic resources for today's webinar. Before we get started, I do wanna cover a couple things. First, as mentioned in the registration, we will be doing a drawing for a free preemie for all of those that have attended today's webinar. We will be announcing the winner at the end. Second, today's presentation is being recorded and all attendees will receive a link to that recording as well as a copy of the PowerPoint slides and resources within 24 hours after the webinar. We will have time at, end for, at the end for a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please feel free to type those in the chat area or the Q&A section located at the bottom of your screen. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and pass things over to Samantha to get us going. All right, great. Thank you, Emily. And welcome everybody to our webinar, the product demonstration of the Quince package of infant simulators. Um, this has been a topic that uh, several educators have asked us to present on. So Ann and I were excited to join you today to share a little bit more about this impactful package that we have. So what we're going to cover today is a brief overview of who RealityWorks is. If you're not familiar with our company, we're going to get into each of the simulators that we have along with the product curricula that comes with them. We're going to do a live demonstration of each of the simulators, and then we have several free resources we want to make you aware of that you can get from RealityWorks. So to jump in, uh, who is RealityWorks? So we offer innovative learning aids that give students hands-on experiences and practical knowledge. Our company has been around for over 25 years and we create some really great impactful simulators, models, demonstrators, um, that can help students learn a little bit more about a career path that they would be interested in going into. We sell into middle schools, high schools, post-secondary, as well as several social service organizations around the world. Um, our big areas within CTE that we focus on is family consumer sciences, health sciences, agriculture, and welding and trade skills. Now, RealityWorks is more than just products. Um, we develop, develop our stuff with the idea of hands-on learning in mind. So whether it's our real care baby, our welding products, our agriculture programs, we always want to do more than a product. We really want to create a lasting educational and experiential learning experience for your students. So what does this mean? Um, well, it means we do create more than a product. We want to look at that entire experience so that it's extremely memorable for, for your students. So the way we do this is we get out there, we get into classrooms, we have an engineering and product management team that, that really wants to find out what is that topic that you want your students to understand a little bit better. And then we will look at what kind of learning aid we can create. And then from that, we will wanna wrap some really good curriculum around it we work with educators um, at the secondary and post-secondary level to write this curriculum in partnership with us. We then take that, wrap it around that learning aid, incorporate some student activities and assessment tools, um, and then take a step back and say, hey, did we create this great learning experience for the students? We have some educators weigh in, and that's how we come up with the products from RealityWorks. So great education partnerships that we have, um, great standard-based curriculum, as well as activities, assessment tools, and then of course, those learning aids. So that brings us to the topic of the Quince. So the Quince package incorporates five of our most impactful simulators within our infant simulator line. That is our Real Care Shaken Baby, 
a real care drug affected baby, real care fetal alcohol syndrome baby, Down syndrome baby, and preemie baby. Now we grouped these kind of top selling simulators together into a package to bring a um, infant care situation into your classroom that we thought could really help students, whether they're going into a career of childcare or in health and social services, um, or really just to teach them about how you have better infant care skills and can identify various situations. And really each of these were created with a big purpose in mind to give students a realistic hands-on situation. Now, the, the products were designed and are applicable for both middle school and high school students, whether it's in a family consumer science class, a child care career pathway. Um, we sell quite a few into post-secondary for health science students going into various nursing careers, as well as a lot into community education and public health organizations that are trying to uh, prepare parents um, or, or in foster care situation, social work, or trying to create awareness around various neglect or abuse situations as well. Now we're gonna do a demonstration of each of these simulators, but first I wanted to share um, how we make it more impactful than just these great simulators. I wanna talk a little bit about that curriculum that comes, comes with it as well. So each one of the simulators has a one to two a lesson hour curriculum with it. And we find it very important to make sure that each of these curricula align to national standards. So each of these are aligned to our national FAC standards, common career and technical core standards, AAFCS, broad field family and consumer sciences competency assessment and certification standards, as well as family and community service standards. And now if any of these are important for you in your program to see what those alignments are, we do have them available um, on our website and you can reach out in the chat and let us know. We can make sure to, to direct you to that right place to see those standards. Um, when we look at the curriculum, e each of them do have really important on like, what is this um, syndrome or topic or abuse that the simulator is addressing. That is part of each of them, but we always want to take it a step farther. So for example, the understanding shaken baby syndrome curriculum does go into topics on signs and symptoms and physical results of shaken baby syndrome, but then it goes deeper and it has topics on how you soothe a crying baby. And the really big one is plan to manage your frustration. So there's a great activity within this curriculum that asks the students the question, what are you going to do if you are in a situation with a crying baby and you're so frustrated? And it asks them to, to list three things they would do. Um, call a friend, set the baby down, take 30 seconds to take a deep breath, um, walk around the block if you have to with the baby or so on. But, but really the idea is to get the students to think about their life in general and how they're gonna deal with frustration. So they never get to the point of shaking a baby. Um, and while the shaken baby is kind of the core of this, the life lesson they're learning about dealing with frustration is extremely memorable as well. Um, so our curriculum structure is uh, really, really important to making the lessons um, impactful as well. So each lesson is going to begin with an overview, lesson objectives, and lesson at a glance table, which lists your lesson activities, materials required, suggested preparation steps, and approximate class time. So the overview within each lesson is really follows the actual lesson as well. And then each lesson contains these kind of big three elements that we think are important focus, learn, and review. So the focus is intended to really capture your part participants' attention. So it could be a small or large group discussion, some kind of game. Um, it might be a review of a, of a previous lesson. It could be a demonstration. But during this activity, we want to introduce the participants to what that next topic or that next section is going to be on and get them ready for it which then leads into the learn part. So the activity in this is going to be, you know, what is your presentation mode? It might be your slide presentation. It might be your discussion. It could be what, what you're trying to teach the student at that time. And that could include some group activities um, or demonstrations as well. And then each lesson always ends with a, a review. And this is intended to briefly review what those lesson key messages or main points were 
And if if this and to help you as the instructor really understand if the students understood the content that you you um, covered with them. And this could include some kind of post-test assessment as well to see if they understood the concepts or if you have to jump back to that learn section. Um, so I pulled out one of our lessons, our prenatal drug exposure. And I wanted to, to show you how the focus, learn, and review played an important role within in this lesson. So right away, the focus is, um, so getting the, the attention is we start this one with a pretest. So it's a pretest called prenatal exposure. So the students could work on their own or in a group to just kind of go through those first basic questions about what they understand on prenatal drug exposure. Then we jump into the learn portion and it includes a presentation slides, it includes an activity, and then it, it pulls in that demonstrator, the drug affected baby. So now we're really teaching the students by, by presenting to them with presentation slides, getting them to do an activity, and then that demonstration. And then the review for this particular lesson is a post-test. So now you can see, okay, they here's our pretest. What did they know before coming into the lesson? Okay, we tried various um, different uh, models to, to get them to understand this topic. And now we're going to do a review with that post-test. And as I mentioned, there is presentation slides included with each of the curriculum. Uh, this is, uh, available in a presentation mode for you to download and be able to use. They include some great graphics, some great information, sometimes some links out to videos and so on. In uh, RealityWorks is offering all of our curriculum, whether you have the product or not, um, is available for you right on our website. So I did put the link up there, realityworks.com slash access hyphen your hyphen guides, hyphen and hyphen curriculum. So we wanted to be able to um, give educators a chance to use our curriculum right now. If you needed some quick, quick curriculum, if you're in a virtual environment or you need some other topics, it's, it's just been a little bit of a, a chaotic uh, past year. So we did make all of our curricula for all of our products available and you can get that um, right now. And of course, if you get the product, you do get the link to the curriculum as well. So at this time, we are going to move into our live demonstration portion of the presentation. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and pass it over to Anne in our offices to do our demonstration. All right. So today here you'll see I've got the full set of our Quince package um, lined up. And so wanted to share the big picture here. If you get the package of all five, it is really nice to be able to share with your students the comparison in size and shapes of their limbs and their body weights. Um, and so we will talk through each one of these. Um, we've got our preemie mannequin here, our uh, Down syndrome mannequin here, fetal alcohol syndrome, our drug affected baby and our shaken baby syndrome simulator. And the shaken baby syndrome simulator is close to that healthy weight um, and size. So a great tool to be able to show the comparison with the others. So we'll get in here and do a little bit of a close up view on some of these for you. Um, so we'll start with our preemie baby. Um, a preemie baby, uh, there's about 12% of the births in the US are premature. Um, a typical uh, full-term pregnancy is 40 weeks, and preemies um, would be considered a premature birth at less than 37 weeks. Our curriculum, as Sam talked about, will include risk factors, long-term and short-term effects, as well as definitions. And there are different levels for premature birth. We've got our extremely premature, very moderate preterm and late preterm pregnancies. So what the premature uh, mannequin we have today is that very premature between 25 and 32 weeks. And this uh, mannequin is showing you a 30 week infant that was born premature, about three pounds of weight and 16 inches. And you'll be able to show and talk about the characteristics that a premature uh, baby may have. Um, they have low body fat, so you're going to see some sharper features in their facial features um, and throughout their body. Um, they may end up with puffy eyes. Um, they are underdeveloped, so you will see that tinier body, tinier limbs, and very smooth skin um, lacking those creases. Our Down syndrome mannequin here, you'll be able to see this, um, an infant with Down syndrome. Um, an infant with Down syndrome is 
um, typically born with an extra chromosome at position 21 called trisomy. Um, and there are some risk factors for infants um, to be uh, born with Down syndrome um, if the mother is over 35. Um, however, in the U.S., many are born to younger mothers just due to the fertility rates at younger ages. So the characteristics with our Down syndrome is you'll be able to see um, a flat facial profile, a broad forehead, brush field spots in the eyes, um, many times they have a larger torso relative to the length of their arms and legs. And they do uh, many times lack that muscle tone. And you'll be able to see that with our mannequin. You can see the arms and legs are more pliable and less muscle tone um, there. So that's a really great feature of this mannequin, um, as well as um, additional neck folds that um, causes lack of support of their head. And you'll see that here as well. Um, and then also with Down syndrome, many have that singular palmal crease that is a deep crease that goes horizontally on the palm, and that could be on one or both palms with an infant with Down syndrome. Our next model is our fetal alcohol syndrome model, and this is going to show um, what happens um, to a baby, some of the characteristics that can occur if the mother drank during pregnancy. Um, you'll be able to see um, they have a flat mid face, low ears, wide apart eyes. Many times they are born with webbed fingers, which you'll be able to see on our mannequin here. Um, again, that low birth weight um, and tiny limbs um, being underdeveloped. Our curriculum is phenomenal for this as well, giving you the uh, risk factors, long-term, short-term effects. Uh, many times they have learning disabilities and behavioral challenges. Um, as well as a really great image that we have in our curriculum showing um, an infant that has um, been affected by alcohol in utero. You can see the brain is very misshapen. It's smaller and underdeveloped compared to a healthy brain. And we have those images in our slides that are included with the curriculum. So I'll move over to our next uh, final two here. We have our drug affected demonstrator. And I'll talk about this one, and I'm going to actually pick this up, and we're going to change the view a little bit so that you can see this in demonstration mode. Um, so our drug-affected demonstrator does have batteries, AA batteries that comes with it. Um, so it has an on and off switch in the back. Uh, Drug-affected babies, when they are born um, and affected with drugs in utero, they're born in a lot of pain. They're actually experiencing those withdrawal tremors from the drugs in their system. Um, so if you were to reach for a baby that uh, may have been affected by drugs, many times they shudder when you reach for them because it's painful for them um, when you touch them. They also have a very inconsolable cry. So I will turn her on so you can hear that inconsolable cry and you can actually see the withdrawal tremors. And you'll be able to see in the video, um, the hands and the legs are tremoring. She's got this terribly inconsolable cry. Um, you'll also see that she has a, a painful facial expression, clenched hands, so you can see that this baby is in distress. Um, so another great tool, you can pass this around the room. Um, many times students don't want to hold the baby. Um, it is very, very powerful and impactful. And then our final um, quince package baby is our shaken baby syndrome simulator. Again, a really wonderful, powerful visual aid um, for a demonstration in your classroom to show how little it takes to do damage to a baby's brain when shaken. Um, so the goal of this simulator, we designed it with a clear head so you can actually see the brain inside and what happens. And as Samantha has described, um, you know, many times, you know, Babies communicate through crying, and if there is a time they're inconsolably crying and you can't help, can't figure out what it is they need and you're trying to console them, it is possible. It, it can be very stressful and very frustrating, and so our goal is to help bring awareness um, that shaken baby can occur, but it is preventable through some of that planning for that stress and frustration. So I'll show you how this one works. Um, there is, um, this one runs on C batteries, on and off switch, and she's going to begin to cry. And if you let the, the students kind of hear that crying a little over time, 
Um, and if somebody gets to the point where they get so frustrated, they shake the baby, please stop crying. And she stops crying. It's that back and forth motion that causes the brain to slam against the skull, tissues tear, and there's bleeding on the brain and swelling on the brain, which causes the damage. And so our simulator is going to show red lights will light up showing the specific areas of the brain that have been affected. Um, we have icons on here. It's a little hard to see on screen, but you'll be able to see on our website as well. Um, the occipital lobe is where vision is affected. So this baby may be blind or may never um, may have vision problems. The frontal lobe, creative thinking, memory, and emotions are affected there. And then the middle of the brain, and I see bleeding in every area, middle of the brain has swelling and bleeding, and that's the motor skills that have been affected. Um, so a really, really powerful tool to be able to demonstrate and help our students. Um, and that curriculum, that pledge to never shake a baby is a really powerful tool after they go through the training. Um, so that is all five. The one other thing that does come with the, the set of our Quince package is storage. Um, and this is a really great storage case that um, you can put all five babies in. There's a slot for each as well as some other accessories if you want. Um, and it's on wheels and um, portable. So a great way for you to move it from place to place or store it. Um, and that is our package. So I will send it back to Samantha to share some additional resources and then we can take any questions. And thank you, thank you, Anne, for the demonstration. And even though I've been with the company a long time and I've seen, seen those, um, it still really hits home, especially when you see that shaken, shaken baby uh, simulator being used in action. And some of the reactions we've had over the years from educators is, is really just their students may not be exposed to some of this until they're in a career situation or until they're um, a parent themselves. And so getting to do this at an earlier age, whether it's middle school, high school, or even post-secondary, it really is uh, potentially changing lives in the long run. Okay, so we are going to jump into some additional resources that we have for um, you as educators out on realityworks.com. So we do do uh, webinars every month. So we do uh, product demonstrations like we did today, but we also do a lot of educational webinars really designed to help you on latest uh, program best practices, tips and tricks from users. Uh, we try to get some educators on our webinars to talk about their own experiences, whether it's with our products or on, on various uh, topics like incorporating soft skills into your classroom, incorporating um, new best practices or virtual learning as well. So whether you um, attend live ones or you wanna see our various recordings, just visit realityworks.com slash webinars for, for all of our available topics that we have. Also, we have free career exploration lessons out on the website. Um, career exploration is a really important topic that we see as a company as we, we need to help students learn right away what are the careers out there for them and what are their interests. So we have written several different uh, curricula for various careers in our major areas of agriculture, health science, family consumer science, welding. Um, but specific to, to these simulators we showed today, we have a, a five lesson curricula that incorporates the simulators into various occupations that they could be working, working with um, simulators or patients like this. So that is out on our website under um, classroom ideas, as well as under uh, free career exploration curriculum. And then finally, um, I encourage you to uh, subscribe to any of our social media, especially our blog. We try to do a lot of topics um, around ver various uh, education and news that is happening out there. Um, again, it's we are a company that creates product, but ideally we want to be part of the conversation too and, and learn from educators and learn from partners. And so we write on different topics to really uh, stay in tune with what's happening out there. So I encourage you to read our blog, follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Um, if you have any of our products, just wanna remind you, we have a great product support area um, out on our website. So if you have specific questions on products, we can help you uh, via the website or a great chat feature too. 
Um, and we can help you with questions on products or questions on post-purchase on how to use your products. So thank you for joining us today. I know that Em is going to come on and do the drawing for our preemie baby, um, as well as answer any questions that we have. All right, well, there was a question that did come in, Sam. Um, if they purchased the trio, so the shaken baby, fetal alcohol syndrome baby, and drug affected baby, um, what is the cost of the other two babies? Let's see. So the other two babies, if they were purchased on their own, so the two that were missing, um, not in the trio package, which is those, those first three, is the Down syndrome baby and the preemie baby. Each of those is $329, and each of them do come with their um, own curriculum as well. So those can be um, purchased right on the website if you want to do, do it that way, or you can chat with one of our customer service team members if you go on the website or call in as well. Perfect. All right, and I'll let those questions keep coming in. And while that's going, I will run the random drawing for the free preemie. All right, and the winner of the free preemie is Kelly Barger. Um, Kelly, we will send you out an email to get your shipping address for that free preemie. So definitely look out for that. Well, congrats, Kelly. Thanks for joining us. All right, it looks like that is all of our questions for today, Sam and Anne. Thank you everybody for tuning into today's webinar. Um, reminder, within 24 hours, you should see a recording of the presentation as well as the PowerPoint that Sam did go over. Um, with that being said, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.